Hello guys. Thanks for coming by. I'm going to let everybody show up. No D. Go away. Hello. Nudes. I brought the nudes, Amy. I brought them. Here they are. Look at this lighting. Y'all see that? You look highlighted. Nudes. Actually, now that you said that. Okay, so I'm making a, quite a few things. I'm making steak. I'm going to make broccoli, which I call boyfriend broccoli because he made it for me. Um, broccoli and noodles. So first for the noodles, you need a skillet. Put it on there and get it hot. This is science, guys. This is this is cooking. Okay, so turn that on. I have my oven on 350 already. I'm going to chop up some broccoli and make it and show y'all how I make my broccoli because I wanted uh, loaded broccoli for dinner. So y'all get to see how I make it. It's really easy. Um, have you ever had chorizo? I have had chorizo. I don't like chorizo. It's too greasy for me. I live in Texas. Chorizo is a big thing. Um... Okay, so I'm going to do broccoli first, then I'm going to make the noodles, and then I'm going to make the steak. The steak only takes like five minutes to make, so I have it right here. Here's my steak. So, Rue Nutrition was nice enough to send me a box of their um, frozen, all-organic, grass-fed, live-on-farms meats. Um, and so far they're delicious. I have never had a steak where you could eat the fat on the side and it didn't taste like greasy. I don't know how to explain it. So, um, okay. So this is my favorite pasta. Just if you're watching, this is your first time. If I don't see your message, you can just say it again. Cause I don't, I'm not going to try to scroll back a whole bunch. So sorry in advance. Um, these are my favorite noodles. I haven't tried any of the other ones, but I really like the flavor of these and they turn out really good. So, um, first let's make broccoli and then we'll do this. I'm going to need the meat. This meat is so good, Amy. Um, I got chicken thighs from them too. Ooh, I got a bison steak. I got pork tenderloin. Um, so far it tastes so much better than the bargain stuff I buy at Winco. So. Okay, I need broccoli. All right, so I never really liked broccoli until my boyfriend made it for me one time, which he apparently is magic. Um, really, it's just broccoli with salt and pepper and oil, and then they're stuck in the oven for 20 minutes. So the noodles, if you are in Houston, you can buy them locally. Um, if you are not in Houston, which I'm sure a lot of y'all aren't, um, you can order them on Amazon. They are $5 a bag. I can eat a whole bag in one sitting. They're good though. I mean, if you really, I probably eat them twice a week, maybe. Um, I was eating them a lot whenever I was counting calories because it's only 94 calories for this entire bag. 94 calories. So, um, no, these are kept warm. They're not in the refrigerator section. I've never, I've never seen them in a grocery store. So Amazon, um, I don't know what's for dessert. I'm not going to lie to y'all had the last of my cheesecake brownie before I came on here. <laughs> Delicious. In the noodle packet, I'm going to show y'all what's in it really fast. Um, cause I can cook the noodles on the side while we're doing this. Okay. So it comes with the actual noodles. They're not noodles. They're going to be weird, but they're still really good. So no, they don't taste like noodles. I don't know how to explain it. These are, these are the same thing. They're called cognac noodles, which are made from a plant seaweed I think I'm not sure what plant anyways um if you cook them the right way and you break them down right they can be like a noodle so soul loves noodles so I was telling him how this one bag is 94 calories and that's why it's amazing when you're counting calories to eat these um so it comes with the noodles the carb count on this bag is 7.35 grams of total carbs and then 4.56 is fiber so it's like two grams of carbs for the whole bag. So, um, when I counted calories, I did about 1300 calories a day. Rule.me is the website I use for my macros when I did count them. So it comes with the noodles. 
comes with the soup powder. Comes with the vinegar satchel. I did this last time. I don't know what that word is. Sauce. And then this vegetable thing. I don't use this. You can use this. It has five corn and five peas. I just don't care for this. So, um, the trick to these is you have to wash them off. You have to actually put them in hot water. I put them in this. I dump it in here. I take it under hot, running hot water and I do this a whole bunch of times until they don't smell funny. That's it. Not pack it. It doesn't say pack it, Noelle. It says satchel. Satchel? That's not it. That, satchel is not a word. I don't remember. Somebody told me how to say that word. Um, how did you decide a goal weight? Is it satchel? It is satchel. I knew it was satchel. Why does that end with a T? That is the stupidest word I have ever seen. What is this word? You don't pronounce the T, then why is it there? That's stupid. I'm a really phonetical reader, so like I read things how they're spelt. Am I just saying where I'm gonna go? I'm gonna move on with, before I keep making myself look really stupid. Um, okay, so that's what comes in the bag. I'm gonna cut these open and I'm gonna rinse them in the sink really fast. I'm gonna put them in a very, very, very hot skillet with nothing else in them. And you'll be able to hear when they hit the skillet. Um, so just the noodles, I'm gonna wash them. I didn't claim to know a lot of things. Okay, shout out to the follower that sent me kitchen shears because she felt bad because I think I might have used my teeth to open something. Don't do that. Um, thank you for my kitchen shears. These have been amazing. And they actually, so they come apart. So when you wash them, you can get all the little nooks and crannies. So, all right. So I'm literally just going to put these in this fat, this water and rinse them off. They do have a weird smell. That's cool. But doing this over and over again, can y'all see what I'm doing? Oh, y'all kind of can. So just really rinse them off and the smell goes away. I swear you're like rubbing the smell the smell off that sounds awful um so they they feel like rubbery and they don't really taste super rubbery because the way you're going to cook them down is whatever the whatever makes them this shape that they say this shape it kind of breaks it down a little bit so i'll try and explain it to me she eats these kind of noodles a lot more than i do okay so they don't smell bad anymore so i'm done rinsing them they don't really absorb water, so it's not a big deal. All right, so I'm going to put them in the really hot skillet, and y'all can hear them. Teeth over shears. Yeah, I made a bad choice. Okay. Can y'all hear it? Just a little bit. Okay, so I put the noodles in there. So the way I like to do it, and if you have a preference, I, that's what I do, is I use the whole soup packet, and I use the whole sauce. Packet. Packet. So I'm going to use both of these and I'm going to put them in there. So I put the sauce packet in there first because it has oil in it and it kind of, I don't know, melts down. That's not the word. I'm off the camera, aren't I? Hello. Okay. All right. Oil soup packet and then I'm gonna add a fourth a cup of water I actually started measuring this out so when I could tell y'all how much water to use I could tell y'all how much water I use so a fourth of a cup of water you're gonna need a half cup but a fourth of the first okay I pour this on top of the soup and the um sauce packet and then I can actually show y'all my stove because it's clean I actually cleaned my stove work there we go all right so literally I'm just going to mix all that in and the noodles will change colors eventually I know they don't right now the water just kind of changes colors so I let these cook down it's all, my ovens on a five out of nine so all right kind of got all the flavor around and I'm gonna let that like cook down to where the water's gone and I let it cook down to all the water's gone for the first time Okay. Oh, now y'all can see down here. Perfect. 
Okay, so I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit. If you wanna use the vinegar, if you wanna use all this, that's cool, I don't. So, all right, that's it for the noodles. They're, I'm just gonna let them sit here and simmer over there while I cut up some broccoli. So this is boyfriend broccoli. He made me broccoli for the first time that I ever liked it, so that's why I call it boyfriend broccoli. It's just regular broccoli put in the oven. Um, so, okay, I'm going to show y'all one more product that y'all can get that's kind of like the noodles. I haven't tried it yet. So, new pasta sent these to me, and my best friend Sarah said they're amazing. So, this one is angel hair. This one's fettuccine, and then this one's spaghetti. You could use any of these for macaroni. Do y'all have a macaroni with spaghetti? I mean, it's the same thing as the noodles, so... I haven't used those yet. I've been really lazy and I've been eating chicken for every meal I eat. Um, they're called noodles. W E. Nope. Mm -mm. Ends first. I'm going to go ahead and move on. If you want to ask me more questions about noodles, let me know. They usually have a coupon out and you can order like a whole bunch of them at one time and get a good deal. So, um, the thing is, if you think that something that <laughs> isn't, most keto things aren't going to be exactly like non-keto things. As much as we want them to be, they're not going to. So, okay. Um, cut the broccoli. Oh, thanks, Amy. Managing me. I appreciate that. Whoosh. Broccoli. Got to make the sounds in the kitchen. It helps. Okay. So, really, if you ever go out to eat and you don't want french fries or something, ask them to make you loaded broccoli. It's my favorite thing to get everywhere now. I'm obsessed. Alright, um, what did I... So, I made a list of things to talk about because I can't think of things by myself. When I make the loaded broccoli, I like bigger pieces of broccoli like this. When I make just broccoli, I'm just going to eat with some butter. I like smaller pieces. Um, oh, I wanted to talk about snacking and, and things like that. So I, oh, y'all can't see my buckets. See my buckets? Those are my keto snack buckets. And I was going to show you all, all my keto snacks that I have in there. And I was going to show you the things I will eat, the things I don't eat. And then like I have them into snacks and then I have them into sweet stuff because those are two different things. <laughs> um, how did you pick a goal weight? I just decided that if I was skinnier than I am now, I wouldn't be comfortable with myself. So, um, yeah, loaded broccoli is totally my favorite. So here's my broccoli. I'm literally just going to put avocado oil on it. We're making dinner, actually, was what we're doing. So we got some avocado, some salt. So I got this grinder at Ikea. Look how big these chunks of pepper are. I love it. I love chunks of pepper. Um, pepper and then, I go, and then garlic powder. California garlic powder because Trader Joe's makes a difference. Okay. Ooh, I did not get a thing to put those on. Okay. I'm literally just going to put my broccoli right here on this pan. That's it. I used this pan yesterday for broccoli. So now it's getting used again for broccoli again. Y'all can judge. That's cool. I don't care. All right, I'm going to toss the broccoli in the little oil stuff. Diesel says, hey. Do you stick out? I don't work out. I'm lazy. I'm super lazy. All right, I'm going to put my broccoli in the oven. My oven was on 350. I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. Alexa, set the timer for 20 minutes. Alexa, set the timer for 20 minutes. Twenty minutes. We'll do it that way. Our cats are talking to each other, Amy. They're friends. We just don't know it yet. Okay, so since I have a couple minutes, I'm gonna show you all my. Do y'all wanna see my snack stuff? Were y'all interested in that? Look, all these buckets back here. They're all snacks and treats and stuff like that. Do y'all wanna see those things? Yeah, Alexa's sleeping on the job. I don't know what her problem is. I almost got up. Thanks, <laughs> Did you? Were you gonna go check and make sure your cat was okay? Okay. Keto 
Um, so we'll do snacks first, which are going to be like more savory items. I have a snacking problem. These are from Costco. I don't like them by themselves. I'm not going to lie. The parm flavor is weird for me. I think they have them in other flavors, but these are good with dip. And I love dip. So, um, pork cracklins. Y'all saw my, how many of these I actually have. Um, these are delicious. They'll break your teeth. I don't know what to tell you. Ella's Flats. These are really good with, uh, like, almond flour butter. I mean, almond flour. Almond butter and stuff like that. I don't need a lot of almond butter. So, more pork rinds. This is all beef jerky. This is zero sugar beef jerky. It's from People's Choice. Super good stuff. Um, they also sent this stuff that you can put, um, it's whatever that, matcha cha Ma Machaca? This isn't fun. Okay, we're gonna move on. You put this in eggs and stuff. Um, I got flax crackers. I love flax crackers with a huge piece of cheese. So, um, nuts. I do like um, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and things like that. You can even fit pistachios into your day if you don't make fun of me, Amy. I know you're laughing at my words. <laughs> um, if you can fit, you can fit nuts into your day. You can't have a whole bunch of them, but you can make little, you can measure them out. Okay, so no cookies. These have nothing funky in them. They are very big and they are very dense. And some people really like these. I like this, but it's very big and very dense. And I cannot eat a whole one. But it does have pretty good ingredients. So I like these. The good chocolate is also a really good one made with really good ingredients. I had some the other day and it's actually really, really good. Um, this can contend with my lilies. Quest chips. Okay, so I wanted to check. Okay, I cannot eat corn fiber. It makes me feel bad. It makes me feel like I have been kicked out of ketosis. It makes my stomach hurt. No corn fiber for me, I can't do it. These do not have corn fiber. Their chips have, um, um they have corn starch, which yes, you're not supposed to have either, but I don't care. It's not corn fiber. I love the Quest chips. So that leads me to the next, well, let me show you the sweets and I'll show you the next bucket. Okay. Here are my sweets that I really like. I love Nush. Nush cakes are so good. If you had them last year and you didn't like them, they changed their everything. They're so much better and they're really good. Um, so I really like Nush. I have some lilies in here. And then if you want super easy stuff to bake yourself, these cookies um, from Kawaii Treats is really good. I'm mixing my noodles, guys. Okay, all the water is cooked down. I'm going to show you all the um, skillet really fast. I might have burnt. Oh, no. I burnt my spatula. All right, I'm going to show you all the noodles really fast. You'll see? Okay, see how they're like brown now? They're starting to take color. I'm gonna add another half, I mean, another fourth of a cup of water and let them cook down a little bit more. But this is what you want them to start looking like. See how it's not soupy? That's kind of what you're going for. Um, I'm back. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. Okay, um, Nush chocolate. You make cookies. These are the chocolate chips I use. Okay, this bucket. This is the, I won't eat this bucket. This does not mean you cannot eat this bucket. Let me show you this cabinet. There's a lot of people that love this bucket. This bucket kicks me out of ketosis. Do your own research. If it works for you, badass. If it doesn't, that's all right too. I don't, D just doesn't even come near here anymore. Yes, last week he meowed the whole time. I listened to it and he's meowing the whole dang time. Um... Yeah, these noodles are... Oh, I forgot to pour some of a cup of water. Okay, and let that cook down a little bit. Mix it up a little bit more. Okay, so this is the I don't eat bucket, but you can eat bucket, and it might not cause you any issues. I don't know if that helped or not. I don't think it did. There we go. Okay. Um, first in the bucket, 
Quest Bars. These don't work for me. People love these. This flavor is fantastic, guys. Like, this flavor is really good. I can't fit this in. It makes my stomach hurt. I just can't do it. Um, actually, you know what? When I ate these, this wasn't the worst. It does have soluble corn fiber. This, I still can't eat this. Um, so this is literally all the Quest stuff I can't eat. Quest cookies have corn fiber in them. I can't eat these either. These are delicious. I don't know if I'm doing y'all any good telling y'all the things I can't eat, but some of y'all can eat these and stay in ketosis. I don't know what the difference is. I can't do it. So, I mean, some people can eat Halo Top and some people can't. That's just one of those things. Um, all the Quest cookies, delicious. I tried all this stuff though too. Um, what else do I have in here? Chalk Zero. Chalk Zero makes my stomach hurt. I don't do it. This one's the banana. Vanilla. I have the banana. Banana. So at some point, I probably will eat all this stuff. But as for right now, it makes me die. So um, this stuff is delicious. <laughs> this is my this is my weakness bucket. Like, because it's not really going to. I don't consider any of this a cheat because it's not cheating. It's staying within my carb limit for the day, but I don't want to feel bad. So it's not worth it to me, if that makes sense to guys. So some people love this stuff. Some people don't. Um, so this is their syrups. They have like a whole line of them. This is the chocolate, maple. Um, people love these. The guy at work, he has, he loves these. Um, Caramel and banana, and then I have the vanilla syrup. You can put these on egg loaf. You can put these on anything. They're delicious. Um, everybody loves these. Not worth it. This is my not worth it satchel. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Like, there will be a weekday that I'm like, I need to try this vanilla caramel hero bar. Or there's another one right here. Blueberry cobbler. I'm going to break down and I'm going to eat this one day. Just not today. Um, guys, I really actually have all of those buckets or that's what they look like. And I have them in my like dining room area. So when I'm like, what am I going to snack on? I have like a whole plethora of things I can look at. Um, it makes me feel like I'm dying. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have the broccoli cooking for 10 more minutes. The steak, I have to cook the steak next, which doesn't take, the steak really doesn't take that much time. Um, I'm going to move my noodles and start. Okay, I'm heating up a cast iron skillet. You don't have to use a cast iron skillet. I suggest buying a cast iron skillet. It is the way to cook everything. Um, it's chalk zero. They have, they have cups, they have bars, they have bark. It is all really good, but it all just doesn't make me feel good. Um, there's a whole bunch of great companies out there that do work for a lot of people. They just don't work for me. But other things work for me that people don't like. So it's all kind of a... That's why on my page, I always try to give a really honest review for something. Because just because I can't eat it doesn't mean you can't eat it. And you might really like it. And it might stop you from eating... <laughs> if it comes down to if I'm going to eat a hero bar or if I'm going to eat a piece of cake, I'm going to eat a hero bar. Because I'm not going to eat a piece of cake. That's an okay decision to make. Like... That's always the better decision is to make something the, the best choice you can possibly make is the best choice to make, period. And if that means eating something with some corn fiber in it, go for it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't, I haven't eaten the Quest pizza. I can make my own pizza. Have y'all tried the Kibosh? Oh my gosh. You want to talk about some more brands? Kibosh pizza crust? Amy, what up with the Kibosh pizza crust? I made my boyfriend buy me this huge thing of goat cheese so I can make more pizzas. <laughs> like, <laughs> those pizza crusts are so good. I'm almost out of them, too. I have one more left. So, um, yeah, see, some people can eat all that stuff. I just know I can't, and it's just not worth it. Um... So, kibosh crust is so good. Have you made the um, sweet one yet? Do you think I could put goat cheese on the sweet one? Like, I really just want to eat goat cheese. I think that's what it is. Um, I'll show you the pizza crust. Um, okay. So, this is the pizza crust. It's by kibosh. Um, this is the kale one. I've had broccoli and spinach. I haven't had the kale one. This one's not opened yet. 
Um, and then they have a cauliflower um, sweet one. So this is a cauliflower, it's kind of like a cauliflower crust, but it doesn't have any fiber. I mean, yeah, any fiber or any flour or anything in it. I'm going to put, I just want to put goat cheese on everything. Um, on the sweet one though, could it be like goat cheese and berries? Ooh, goat cheese and jam. I have jam. I think I just made dessert. A goat cheese jam pizza. Shit, that sounds good, guys. Uh, there you go. Dessert. Um, so these these are really good. And I might have a coupon. If I don't have a coupon, let me get us a coupon for these because I will buy some more of these. Um, these are really good. The trick to this is you have to do it in a skillet and not in the oven. That's the trick. The trick. Um, I haven't had... I have the Mexi cabbage one, too, so... I have to cook my steak. What else do y'all want to know? I've been showing y'all things that I just kind of have. I don't know if that's really... It's like show and tell in my apartment. Um, okay, so... The noodles... Okay, they still need to cook down quite a bit. You can heat the noodles up if you don't eat all of them in one day. Like, just like any other regular noodle. I'm just cooking them down. Don't... I know, Amy, I wasted an entire box of kvabosh pizzas by flipping it wrong wrong two pizzas done gone Went. um so noodles heat up great uh sugar-free jam there is some good sugar-free jams i'll show you my jam i'm pretty proud of my jam i made it from fresh raspberries and blueberries uh blueberries blackberries um so there's a couple jam recipes out there and I made a huge batch of it this this um, summer, and I froze some jam. So this is literally, I'm just going to take this out because I think I'm going to make that, that pizza. Um, so this is jam. This is literally just pure, um, a little bit of xanthan gum, and smashed up berries. So it's real, real jam. It's made with pure, so... I cried for you. I was so sad, Amy. And you know what it was? I accidentally left the crust out and they were like soggy when I put them in the skillet. Don't leave the crust out and defrost them. It was un 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 unintentional. Figure it out. Um, where do you get the crust? You can order the kibosh crust on, um, online. I have not found them in stores anywhere. Um, I've only had goodies once and I wasn't a fan. I don't know if I got a bad bag, but it wasn't very good. And Soul's telling me I probably got, like, something that was wrong with my bag because it should have been really good and it's one of her favorites. So I have some and I'm going to give them another try. So I want to give y'all some better options. So I also have, I have a couple brands that are going to come in. So do y'all want to know about stuff that I eat like that? Like, because I get companies that send me stuff and sometimes I'm not a super fan, but y'all might really, really like it. I never think about that. I usually just bake my own stuff. So, um, oh, my pink water. Let's talk about another brand that I really like. Ultima. Ah! Okay. That just fell. So Ultima is electrolyte drinks. I don't like these two flavors. <laughs> if you... They're the only flavors I have left. Three flavors I don't like. Um, actually these orange are really good, but I've been drinking all the lemonades lately. Um, Ultima, this is an electrolyte drink. I love them. Um, I have drank all of them. Right now I'm drink I'm drinking them in the order I like them. So lemonade is first and then raspberry and I'm going to drink the oranges next because these are really good actually. Um, so if you're interested, my boyfriend loves these. He drinks like two cups of, of Ultima a day and he likes it. So I just don't like grape anything. Like, I just don't want grape anything. Um, the or Have you had the orange one, though? This one kind of tastes like orange juice does. Like, not an orange soda or anything like that. Like, actually, orange juice. Um, yeah, I have the cherry I, The cherry pomegranate was my favorite one until I did started doing the raspberry and the lemonade mix. And it's game over. Um, okay, my noodles are kind of drying out. I'm just mixing them around. I have my skillet heating up right now. In my very hot skillet, I'm going to put some um, avocado oil. Okay, so I'm going to take my steak and move all the snacks. Okay, the real reason y'all cared to come was fryer. There's the fryer. I'm going to scoot it out. I'm going to show y'all the parts of the fryer. 
And then we're going to fry a steak. So, um, yeah, this, here it's delicious. Make that. Okay, so the air fryer. You see it? Yeah. Okay, so I have a Bella. My best friend got it for me for Christmas last year. Best gift I've ever gotten from anybody. So it has three parts. It has this big part right here. It has the top bucket and the bottom bucket. I'm not gonna lie, look how gross this is. See all that grease? I don't care. Um, here's the bucket, here's the grate. When I make fried cheese, you can put parchment paper in there, but you have to put it only on the bottom. Don't let it come up the sides because it will catch on fire. It will. Just saying. It will catch on fire and it will scare the shit out of you. So parchment paper can go in the bottom. You can also put silicone in here. Um, it is caffeine free. It only has, uh, you know what V, I'd love to give you some. Like I have so much of it. Like I will somehow give you some because I have quite a bit of the samples of them. Tell Santa the Bella goes on sale at Best Buy every four months or so for like $40. So um, to take the bucket out, I want to show y'all, you press this little button right here and it just lifts out, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna preheat this. So when I put the steak in there, it's not starting from a cold oven. I just started doing that because I read it on a blog. I don't know if it's a real thing. So, um, I love my air fryer. What's an oven? I don't even wanna use the oven. I don't like broccoli in here. That's just me, so. Um, also, if you get an air fryer or you have an air fryer, please watch what um, countertop you put it on. I had um, a friend named Teresa. She lives in Alaska. She got an air fryer and it cracked uh, her son. It cracked his countertop and they replaced the countertop. They like did the most for him, but it can ruin your countertop. So be careful. Um, thanks for coming back. Honey. I appreciate you. Dash air fryer. I've never seen the dash. This is the only one I've ever used. So I don't know. Oh, I'm going to turn it on. It's on 350. I'm going to let it heat up for a minute. Why would you chat? And... Then I'll stick my steak in there. Couple things if you want to cook dinner and um, I used to just make all my meat just dry. Just dry. Oh my gosh, this is really hot. My noodles got a little dry. Okay. So I used to make my meat really dry and then I got a meat thermometer. This is the best $12 I've ever spent on my life. You literally stick it in a little piece of meat. Right there, that thing. And it tells you the degrees. You can Google what degrees meat's done at. That's it, $12. Instead of guesstimating time. Time means nothing. A piece of meat, they're all different sizes. So you can say 10 minutes and you're gonna get the most disgusting overcooked piece of meat you've ever eaten. This thing is meat. And then you can just go whoosh. cool at all. I'm gonna work on that a little bit. Um, I have not made asparagus. I have made green beans. Fantastic. Green beans kind of remind me of french fries. I have made radishes, which kind of remind me of potatoes. I have made jicama. Chewy potatoes because I made them wrong. Um, I didn't like the broccoli because it was really dry. Oh, I'm so dumb. I turned off the wrong thing. Idiot. Um, ooh, broccoli's done. Okay, I'm gonna pull the broccoli out and see how done it is. Okay, that's about good. I don't know if y'all can see the broccoli, you see? A little brown on the edges. Okay, so the broccoli's done. I'm just gonna put that to the side. It'll be fine. Um, you know what would go really good with this is a Diet Dr. Roll with some butter. Alexa, stop. She must have heard me earlier. Um, hey, Lauren, thanks for coming by. Uh, yeah, I didn't boil the jicama. It wasn't bad. They were just like very chewy french fries. I'm gonna boil them next time, um, but I will try again. Yes, this is the Bella. Dang, I want this to be cooler. I'm gonna need to work on that. It just doesn't work. Um, Sugar-free candy. Oh, how I love sugar-free candy, Russell Stover's. I used to buy them five bags at a time and I would only allow myself three pieces a night. I, for two years, I didn't care about 
fake sugars, maltodextrin, there is sugar in turkey. I didn't give a shit about any of that. I literally just counted carbs, went about my merry way. Then I stopped, started stalling and I was like, what could it be? Maybe it's the Starbucks crap that I'm drinking. Starbucks is not super sugar free. It has crap in it. Um, got rid of that. And eventually then you care if you have sugar in your turkey. It's not something you have to care about at the beginning. It's not that big of a deal. Um, sorry, I'm not even reading. Air fryer burn. Mine is fine and has never burnt my counter. I mean, it's, it's, it's been in the same spot for a year. So, um, jicama. You can find it at a Mexican market. I find it at Kroger and it's already, but it's already cut up. They're not going to give you like a jicama. It's already cut up jicama. Um, okay. Swerve or stevia. I'll, oh, I'll show you all my stuff. Somebody asked me about this today, actually, and I wanted to share. Hang on. I gotta oil my pan. Okay, so. Let me stick my steak in there and I'll show y'all. Okay, so I'm sticking my steak in there. I'm gonna stick it in there for four minutes, and that's it. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes, starting now. Okay, all I had on that steak is pepper and salt and it's huge chunks of both because I prefer it that way. Um, okay, so my fake sugar choice is pure. It's a mixture between stevia and erythritol. Doesn't give me a cooling effect. It cooks well, it goes in every recipe. I only use this, that's it. I don't I haven't used anything else. This is from Walmart. Um, Kroger, I don't remember what I said about Kroger. Uh, yeah, there's jicama everywhere down here. I don't, I mean, I don't know if it's really popular for a lot of stuff. I'll try Kroger. I have that. Y'all are welcome for all the Alexas across America. Um, so this is the sugar I use. Do y'all have any other questions? What can I show y'all? All I have in my fridge is cheese, eggs, butter, cream cheese, dips and sauces, and cold brew. That's it. So that's not very exciting. Um, oh, y'all have Pure and Wall in Canada. Good. This is my favorite. Where are you? Texas. We have a... Uh, I'm in Texas. Oh, it's not running. How did you notice that? It didn't hit the button. Thank you for noticing that. Damn. How long do you think that was in there? Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Second timer. Four minutes. Okay, so we'll go with the second timer. Um, no hickama. I'm eating cookie dough right now. Ooh, what kind of cookie dough is it? I'm gonna make a goat cheese pizza later with jam. I'm excited. Um, favorite brand of butter? Cheap. I don't care about where my butter comes from. I don't buy a brand of butter. I just get the Winco butter. I don't buy expensive stuff. The tin for the, it's on 350 for four minutes. And then I'm going to stick it in a very hot skillet for a minute on each side. And that's it. That's the whole cooking process. Um, do y'all have any questions, comments, concerns? That's pretty much it. I didn't have anything else planned. I was just going to chit chat if y'all want to chit chat. Um, that's smart, Audie. Oh, I love cooking dough. Uh, I'm not cooking pizza tonight. I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do that later. I want to eat my dinner whenever it's done in a minute. What dips do you have for your pork rinds? Let me show you my dips. Oh, it's getting smoky. Okay, these are my two favorite dips right now. These are for my pork rinds. It's from Costco. They have it at Walmart. They might even have it at Kroger. I don't know. Um, this is the one I buy. I love this. Best. Um, Kerrygold. It's pretty good. I just don't see the, the hoopla about it. This is my new favorite sauce. I bought this this weekend. And I'm going to dip literally everything in it. It's spicy. It's garlic parm. It's delicious. It was at Albertsons. Amazing. They have like three other ones I want to go back and get. Um, yeah, I just don't care about... So, I found that butter and eggs don't make a difference. The meat I'm eating, I'm eating organic grass-fed meat. And it's fucking delicious. Like... It tastes so much better. It really does. Um, 
I'm so glad I can help. Um, oh, the calendar. Okay, I started, so what I did earlier before I got on here is I went through things that y'all have already said and I started writing them down. So this week, by the end of the week, I want to do a Keto Mojo Live. So if you want to come to that, I'm probably going to do that on... Wednesday, I'll get on at 7 and I'll talk to y'all about the Keto Mojo, your glucose, your GKI, and things like that. I'll just do another live one with one of those um, because I'd rather give y'all as much time as y'all want to know about the Keto Mojo than try to rush through it while I'm doing this. Can somebody give me a time? Alexa, stop. Um, time, time. I'm such an idiot. I need, I need to be like fancy people. Um, the dip, the dips, the artichoke dip. This is my favorite artichoke dip. I heated this up, game changer. Sorry, I gotta give me a mistake, guys. Okay, so this method is called the reverse steer. If you sear, if you want to do it in the oven, you could. That's how Steve Keto Pet does it. All right, I'm putting it in the skillet with that has um avocado oil. I'm gonna set this timer for one minute. So it's two minutes because it's stupid. Doesn't have a little. Okay. What the percentage? I don't know what all the things on the keto mojo mean. I just know that what the GKI means. So um, I don't drink bulletproof coffee. I got 216, 220 people in here. Let me talk to you about bulletproof coffee. You want your body to burn the fat you already have on your body. Why would you start your day with a super fatty coffee? And if you put MCT oil in it, your body's going to always burn the MCT oil before your ketones. Alexa, stop. Therefore, you're giving yourself an energy source, which is great. But then your body's not going to use the ketones you're making. So then it's not going to make as many ketones. Because why does it need to? You're giving it MCT oil to energize it. I mean, I'm just putting out there what I've read. So however you want to take that. Y'all can... There is... So much information on this kind of stuff. Bulletproof coffee is not a necessity. If you like it, that's fine. It's a meal. You just know that you're eating, and that's cool. If it, fits, if it fits in your macros, go for it. If you're stalled and you can't figure out why, get rid of your coffee first. I bet you $5 it will change your life. Um, that has to be a minute already. All right. Flipping my steak over. That was way a minute. This is going to be way overcooked. Um... Yeah, and I don't want to tell anybody how to do keto. Do keto your way, guys. But if it's not working, it's not working. <laughs> it's not. Um, give something two weeks. Try something for 14 days. At that point, this isn't working. Move on to the next thing. I got rid of my Starbucks coffee first because their sugar-free syrups are not sugar-free. Um, they have uh, one or two carbs in them, but if you get four pumps, how many carbs is that? Is that eight carbs? Who knows? I mean, it's just not worth it. And there's so other, there's many other options to make your coffee taste good too. Um, I love coffee. I drink so much coffee. And I'm not trying to preach to anybody because I didn't know what I was doing and I still don't know what I'm doing all the time. But these are things that helped me. I have on my page, I have like five things I changed to lose my last 15 pounds and they work so well. So it's hard for me to argue with anybody because they worked for me. That's very vindicating me. Okay. My steak is done. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Starting now. We're going to let it rest. I will just eat steak later. Actually, I'll probably eat it right. I'm going to use this right now in a minute. Um, intermittent fasting. I didn't fast until I was over two years keto. So if you're like into keto and you're like, I'm going to try fasting and it doesn't work, that's cool. Move on and go back later because you're not always going to be ready to fast. Be, fasting is easier when you're fat adapted. So if you're newer to keto and you're not a fat, fat adapted as well, it's a lot rougher on you because you're not used to the body using its own weight for energy. So once again, not a keto professional, just telling y'all what works for me or what I've read or my friends and things like that. Um, there are carbs. There's one carb in every shot of espresso and they are worth every single carb that they are. So, um, Oh, you want to see the steak? I haven't cut it open. I want to let it rest for about five minutes. Um, you know what? Let's, ah, oh, damn, that's 
It's never going to be cool. Man, I broke the battery part. Um, how do you know when you're fat adapted? Somebody asked me that, actually. And how do you know? Man, you feel it. I don't know how to explain it. Um, when you don't need a meal all the time, when you feel like your blood sugar is pretty level, when you don't have super cravings, um, that's when you know you're fat adapted. It's really weird because everybody, it's different. And when I know I'm fat adapted, it's when I'm making really good choices and I don't even want the other stuff. So I've been fat adapted for so many days now. I don't even want junk. All right, let's see what my temperature is at. One thirty, one thirty-three. That's not bad actually, because one twenty-five is cooked. So, pretty sure one twenty-five. Anyway, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna let that set for a minute, and then I'm gonna eat that. I did sear both both sides for one minute each. Um, CBD. What about CBD oil? I don't know anything about it. You doesn't. Uh, yeah, I swear I've eaten pizza before and, and back to keto the next day or it didn't even register. I don't know. I don't want to say do that. Don't do that. But yes. Um, I don't have days where I feel like I'm starving anymore. Okay, so keto is really going to change your body and how it works. And I don't know what time it is, y'all. Y'all are on my phone. I got nine minutes. Okay, so what was the question? Hang on. CBD coffee. Feel hungry. Some days you're going to be really hungry. Eat. Eat good foods, though. Some days you're going to be not so hungry. You don't have to eat. You don't have to force yourself to put something in your body that you don't need because you're fine. Whenever I think I'm starving, I always try to, especially when I was trying to cut weight, if I thought I was just so hungry, I just couldn't, I had to eat something, I would eat scrambled eggs. That was the only option I got because if I was hungry enough to go make some scrambled eggs and eat eggs, I was hungry enough to eat and that's what I could have was eggs. Um, Sol does the same thing. She does it a little bit different. Um, she decides that if she's so hungry she can eat a can of tuna by itself, I think it's a can of tuna, then she's hungry enough to eat. I just changed it and said, if I will make scrambled eggs, that's all I can eat. And it, since it's just a protein, it's a pretty good round food for keto. I guess it taught me how to just, if I'm really hungry, I should probably eat something and that should be a meat. If I'm not really that hungry, I won't go make the scrambled eggs. So I don't know if that helps. Um, sorry, the air fryer is already done. The steak's been cooked. It's sitting here resting. Um, do I ever get tired of eggs? Man, I wish I got tired of eggs, guys. Um, I... One brat shouldn't have kicked you out of ketosis unless it had 20 grams of carbs, unless you ate quite a bit of carbs the day before. Um, who is Sol? Sol is lit Sol, yo. She's my best friend. Um, she lives here in DFW. We met through keto. And so now I heart her. Um, so, um snacking. I don't have enough time to go into snacking, but if you're still here, every time you feed yourself, every time you feed your body some food, you're giving it more energy. So when you snack, if you snack, let's say every three hours, every three hours, you're giving yourself energy. When you're in ketosis, you want your body to make ketones out of fat to give you energy. Alexa, stop. And if you are continually giving yourself food energy, will your body ever use your stored fat to make ketones to use your stored energy and make you lose weight? That's the question. So whenever I thought about that, I was like, why would I snack then? I'd rather go way between meals and burn ketones in between those meals than snack every couple hours and, and not burn ketones in between because I have energy from all my snacking. Um, so that's just something to think about whenever you're, you want to snack. Don't get me wrong. Once I open my, open my eating window, because I wake up in the morning and I do have coffee. My coffee is about 40 gram, uh, 40 gram, 40 calories, um, 40 calories, not 40 grams of anything. And it's really light. 
But once I open my fat, like my window of eating, it's like, man, eat everything. So on the weekends and stuff, I wait to eat later so I can snack and stuff in between. Um, so that's just something to think about. That's why I don't snack really. Um, if I do snack, I have a snack and then I have a meal right afterwards just because I'm going to keep eating. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's what it is. Um, I don't eat breakfast. I just have coffee every morning, almond milk, coffee, collagen, stevia, delicious. Love it. Um, oh, for the loaded broccoli, I'm going to make that in a minute and I'll take photos so y'all can see. I'm going to put... Um, some sour cream. I'm not going to put butter because I already put avocado on it, so I don't need butter. But pretty much the toppings that you put on a baked potato, put on your broccoli. It tastes delicious. You're going to love it. Um, so cheddar, bacon, excuse me, bacon and uh, cheddar, bacon, sour cream. Um, I have a really good pumpkin bread mu uh, muffin recipe. It's actually from Grandy Girl. Um, she's she one of my favorite keto things I ever made. Um, yeah, five small meals a day sounds crazy to me. You never get, you get like this much food every meal. It just doesn't make sense. Um, cheat says days do not exist in the US. Keto. I was a cheater. I cheated all the time. I never made it over 30 days keto in a row until this year. And I'm in the middle of my longest current keto streak. So cheating doesn't hurt you. Cheating doesn't derail you. Cheating's not going to ruin all your progress. If you cheat, just the next day, get back up and keto again. It's the only way to get over it. Don't wallow in it. Throw away the crap that you didn't eat. It's not that big of a deal. It's not the, the, the 50 cents of chips that you're saving and you're going to eat later, probably not worth the weight you're going to keep on for that one extra day that you just want those chips. So, um, Okay, so last thing, Wednesday we'll do a Keto Mojo live. I will have my Keto Mojo. I answer all y'all's questions, and I'll save it. This is gonna go on YouTube. If you have any questions? Let me know. If you need any coupons, let me know. I think that's it. The stair lady, hi. You're, I'm, I'm not saying goodbye, but hello. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go eat my dinner. Can't wait to take a picture and show all y'all. So thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. I'll see y'all next week. Wednesday. Wednesday for Keto Mojo stuff, next week for cooking. And I already have a plan for next week, so see y'all next week.